Learning objectives include viral replication. Viral replication has various steps. The first one is attachment of the virus. And for attachment, there has to be a receptor. And that is the reason that the availability of a receptor determines the range of infectivity. Second step after the attachment is entry of the virus into the cell. This entry is mediated by either pinocytosis, which basically is the plasma membrane folds inwards to form a vesicle. Second way of penetration is fusion, where viral envelope interacts with the cell membrane and virus enters through a process called fusion. After the virus enters into the cell, it must get uncoated. So its nucleic acid must be exposed. And separation of viral nucleic acid from its protein coat by viral or sometimes host enzyme, but mostly host enzymes uncoat or uncover the, the viruses. As um, the cell, the, the virus enters into the cell, there are various enzymes uh, that are basically try, that try to kill the virus, to destroy the virus. But in, in that fight, the capsid is digested and nucleic acid is exposed. But once it is exposed, then the virus takes over the cellular machinery and then start replicating itself. Now, once it is the genetic material of the virus gets uncoated, it goes through various processes or various stages. First is called biosynthesis, where the virus particles, um, there are two components of the virus, as we mentioned earlier, that there is a capsid and there is a nucleic acid. So biosynthesis of the capsid proteins and nucleic acid would take place before the virus matures into a full assembly. And then after the, the virus is assembled, it must be released from the host cell. The picture shows pinocytosis, the process of entry of the virus into the cell. As you can see, that the virus is attached through those receptors that are specific to the virus and present on the cell membrane. And then virus does not do anything other than just attach itself through that receptor. But once that receptor senses that something has bound itself, then there is a change that happens in the plasma membrane and the virus particle is kind of engulfed into the cell. So this is called pinocytosis. On the other hand, fusion basically is again mediated by the virus. It is mediated mostly by the envelope, proteins that are present on the envelope of the virus. And there is an interaction of the receptor present on the host cell. So here, fusion is mediated by the virus, basically. In pinocytosis, there was only attachment. The rest of the things were done by the host cell. Here in fusion, viral particle, the spikes that are present on the envelope, they mediate, basically, the action. So they take part actively in penetrating the host cell. Then the process of biosynthesis has various stages. There's early stage called early protein synthesis followed by late protein synthesis. In early proteins, um, mostly enzymes that are required for making uh, nucleic acids uh, are made. And then in the late phase of the cycle, capsid proteins would be formed. And after the nucleic acid is replicated and capsid proteins are made, they, there would be uh, assembly of the virus, and after the virus is assembled, the nucle nucleic acid and capsids are assembled together in a virus, then those viruses are released from the cell. Some viruses, they acquire extra membrane, which we call envelope. As you can see, this is the virus which is, has been assembled in the host cell and is about to be released. But before it gets released, you can see these spikes here. 
these uh, projections, these are viral uh, encoded proteins that entangle themselves or insert themselves into the host cell, so cell membrane. And as the virus approaches the cell membrane, it becomes covered by these spikes. As, as you can see, as the process goes on, these spikes cover fully that capsid there. You can see. So this becomes an enveloped virus. And these viruses, they bud off. They are released by budding. So in summary, there are various stages of uh, virus replication that start from the attachment, uh, then penetration, then biosynthesis, then assembly, then release.